Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode in the GitHub website tutorial series. In this episode we'll be getting a first class domain for free and we'll be setting up it to work with our website. So let's get on to the video guys. Okay, so to get started, we've got our website here that we made in the last episode. We're going to need to go to freenom.com. This is the website where we'll get a free domain. Um, when you go to this website, uh, you'll see a page uh, that says search for a domain or something like that. I'll just head over to that quickly. Not this one. There we go. Just looks like this for me because I've already registered an account. So in here, you can type in whatever domain you like. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write in M692's tutorial website for this. Um, but make sure not to put anything like .com or anything like that. Just the name of your website. Then click check availability, and then we can choose a website. So for this web tutorial, we're gonna do M692's tutorial website .tk. So if you click get it now, and then you click check out should take you here. So what we need to do is click forward this domain and then we need to go to our website that we made with github and paste the URL into there. Then we can select our time periods and we'll do 12 months and click continue. In here you just need to put in your details and click I've read, uh, I've read and agreed to the uh, terms and services and that kind of stuff. Then you may need to click a uh, um, do a um, capture, but then you can click complete order. From here we can go and find our domain under my domains. As you can see we've got m692's tutorial website .tk. If you click manage domain you can manage the domain with whatever you like. So we just need to wait a little bit of time until our um, website will be online. It could be around 30 seconds to 2 minutes. As you can see, it will say this website can't be reached. We'll just um, uh, we just need to keep reloading the page. If it redirects you to the GitHub, that means it's starting to work. Just paste it back in, and it should work now. There we go. As you can see, we've got our website. It works with this URL, and it doesn't redirect to anything. It's got our proper website here. All the links work, and it's working just as it should be. Thanks for watching this episode everyone, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful. If you have any um, questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Make sure to share this video if anyone else is looking to build a website. And make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. I'll leave all the links and resources in the description or it might be in the comment section, I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode.